afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Alumni Couch segment. My name is Corinne, and with me this afternoon, I have the awesome WSU alumni, Charbel, joining us. Hey, Charbel, it's so good hey, to see you. So, hi, everyone. I'm Charbel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a student at Western Sydney, so currently still a student. I've graduated from my first degree in 2017. I did a, a bachelor in medical science and I majored in medicinal chemistry. So I graduated with a distinction, I was very happy about that. Um, and now I'm doing a Bachelor of Applied Leadership and Critical Thinking with the Academy. Through my, throughout my uni years, basically my focus was on studies, but also on like other extracurricular activities or programs that, you, that I can get involved in. So I did things like LEAD, I did things like the Academy Students and Scholar, I was part of the Rotaract Club. So I was very kind of involved at uni. And yeah, that sort of led me down the path of being really focused on creating meaningful connections with students, helping them get the most out of their degrees. And bit by bit, that sort of led me to a five year career at Western Sydney Uni, working at PwC. So I finished off my uni career and I've moved on to PwC to be a corporate lifestyle. So that's a bit about me. <laughs> I started uni, what, in 2015, and I've never worked a job before. So I was like very into uni. I'm like, I'm here to study, nothing else, nothing is important other than my studies, getting this degree. And then like probably one or two years down in my degree, I'm like, I got offered to do a past facilitator role. And this was for programming fundamentals. While I was doing that, I was like, okay, what else can I do now? I clearly had so much time and I just didn't want to miss out on anything. So I just applied for an Ask Us assistant role. And that's basically the people that help you throughout orientation. Like they usher you to your or opening sessions and they kind of tell you where things are. And that sort of became my thing. I was very kind of sheltered, um, introverted, did not want to talk to people. And that sort of took me out of my bubble into a more extroverted lifestyle. One thing led to another, it took me down to like mates mentoring where I was like, okay, I want to help new people because like as a new student, because I realized how much I struggled during my first semester in like I didn't know people didn't know what to do what to do where to go how to get seek help so I wanted to be that person for someone that's starting at least I can be that guide and share my experiences my knowledge to make their journey a bit easier together these things started to gel in together and over like over a period of like say two years I was starting to get promoted in these roles and getting offered more positions and more responsibilities I got my role through the uni. I've um, served through careers, big shout out to careers. Um, they had a an opening um, for a casual position. So it's called the Center of Excellence, COE with PwC. And it's basically your um, PwC imports all these people um, from uni, they get them in and they help them with all the projects, all the um, engagements that they do. And that was sort of my role. I, I worked in it for about six months before being offered a full-time position um, as a senior associate at PwC. So this is where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> so conveniently spread out, I guess, like over greater, greater, greater Western Sydney, that like wherever you are sort of thing, you're always about 45 to an hour, or well, depending which campus you want to go to. Mine was like 10 minutes away from home. So I'm like, this is perfect. Like I don't need to go anywhere else. So my degree offered me the basic kind of thinking and mindset skills, things like create crit critical thinking, analysis skills, um, research skills. So those are the things that I, they, I believe I gained out of my degree, but it wasn't, I don't think it was my studies alone that got me where I am today. I think it was a lot of the programs that I was involved, there, involved in, a lot of the engagements that I was doing, the, the conversations that I talk with people, the networking skills. Those are sort of the things that help you develop those transferable skills, which is what employers like are looking for. Reflecting on my uni career, one of the like things that I still hold on to today is when I was working with the programs unit, so as an Ask Us assistant slash logistic support, um, we were working on this application called Ready for Western. I'm not sure if it's still kind of live, but students basically was, it was an onboarding thing where students were able to engage with activities and just kind of games um, to learn about the university and they won prizes out of it. So I was involved in that application and it got such a, a, a crowd and audience that we got the opportunity to present at the 
student experience offers half yearly meeting. So this was kind of a big, big conference style meeting where we had like about 100, 150 people there. The second one would be, I guess, more recent, like that's a really fresh one. So being able to move from a center of excellence casual, so this is kind of at PwC, being able to move from a casual to a senior associate in the space of like six to nine months. The first one is just be curious, be curious and ask a lot of questions. Um, some people think that some questions are dumb. I don't believe that. I think um, if you ask a dumb question, you might be, you might feel like dumb for a minute, but at least you get that closure and that answer. Um, if you don't, you're going to carry that question with you for the rest of your life and you, you might never get that closure on that. Always seek feedback because I think feedback is really important no matter what you do. Um, what, even if you succeeded at a particular task or you failed at a particular task, always ask for feedback, feedback because the feedback will help you um, move forward. You will be able to ask yourself things like, okay, what do I need to do differently next time so I can achieve better results.